everyone. We are just going to wait a couple minutes to have some attendees join in before we get started. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know some of the things that are going on today. So we are recording this webinar. Um, so we'll have the webinar replay for you guys available afterwards. We'll email this out to all the attendees and registrations that we had, and it'll be available on our YouTube channel as well. Um, and for those of you that are joined in right now, we have Nate Jones with us with Structurally. He's the co-founder of Structurally. He'll be joining us for today's webinar for Work Smarter, Not Harder with Wise Agents AI Bot. So a lot of great questions that came in from you guys, and we're kind of we're excited to go over all those questions and tell you guys a little bit more about Wise Agents and how we leveraged um, Structurally's technology with our integration, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, happy to be here, um, answer some questions and give some insights into what we've been working on with you all. I'll just jump into sharing my screen here. Obviously, we're, talk we're here to talk about uh, Wise Agents AI Bot um, powered with uh, Structurally here. And I wanted to start by just kind of giving a high level refresher of what it is and it's basically text message qualification follow up and qualification done for you 24 7 365 response time 12 months follow up and two way qualifying conversations like you see there on the right hand side all built right within wise agent um no need to go to structurally please don't uh the, the <laughs> integration with wise agent is uh what you're looking for You'll, end, you'll ultimately come to us and say, hey, do you have an integration with Wise Agent? And we'll say, yeah, through the, the Wise Agent bot. And that's really why we built the integration and why it's super powerful. Um, so a little bit about the follow-up again here. Um, th that's a huge piece of where we focus. Most agents kind of give up after just a few attempts. Um, we follow up um, tw over 12 months and uh, you can see some of those example cadences there. And um, it's all based on different types of leads too. So buyers, sellers, even uh, loan uh, mortgage leads are all supported through the Wise Agent bot. And they all differ, uh, have different uh, long-term follow-up cadences as well. So I wanted to switch gears and give you a little uh, head start as to um, kind of what we've seen in terms of our um, conversion rate, I guess, if you will. Um, so I broke it down based off of looking at about one and a half million leads that we've processed. We've processed a lot more than that, but I just took a subset of them um, and looked at them by pay-per-click leads versus like non-pay-per-click leads, which I call like portal leads. So pay-per-click leads are like Facebook, Google, and anywhere where your website might be hosted, where you're getting leads yourself, basically. So through our product directly, we've seen a 49% response rate on these PPC leads, 12% become agent ready. And that's a stage that we automatically classify leads on based on their conversation. So those are like hand raisers. That's someone indicating they want to take a next step. They're a hot lead, basically. So 12% total, of those pay-per-click leads are becoming agent ready. And we're setting about 2% of them uh, into appointments. So keep those stats in mind. Yeah. Um, and then compared to portal leads, um, a little bit higher stats that's expected. These leads are typically more expensive, which is why you get a little bit higher conversion rates typically, um, but a good blend of both PPC and portal leads and your entire um, past client sphere of influence. I think that personally makes a really strong pipeline. So you need to consider them all. Don't just use this data to go invest in one or the other. Um, I, it's mostly just an illustration as to uh, where the AI wise agent bot uh, can work across all different lead types. So on the portal leads, see about a 63% response rate, 37% agent ready rate, and a 13% appointment set rate. So quite a bit different stats between the two. Yeah, and that response rate is more so like the um, the lead is ready to like reply back. They're more likely to reply back to an initial um, text or um, touch that they're getting from the agent, correct? Yep, yeah, that is just as soon, it, 
it, that is just a, a raw reply from the lead. It okay. could be, it, you know, it could be something like, hey, wrong number or leave me alone. <laughs> but we that's why we take it further and look at the agent ready rate. And uh, yeah. I think Donna's asking, is it 13%? or 37% of 100%, all stats here are of the full population. So 37% okay. is of the full, all portal leads of the 100%, not of the those that responded. It's a total. So pretty high conversion rate, about one in three, or a little more than one in three uh, of these portal leads are, are becoming agent ready. Yeah, awesome. And then I also wanted to break it down by um, what I call like hours of operation, because this is a super important part of the product as well. Many of you work 24-7, 365, I know, but sometimes a few of us take a break every once in a while. Um, but unfortunately, when you take a break uh, or don't follow up with the lead instantly, your competition might. And that's somewhere where the wise agent bot can cover you, such as later, uh, you know, later leads that come in, uh, like after 5 p.m. or on the weekends, for example. So this is broken down by, sorry, my computer's blocking. So after 5 p.m., um, after 5 p.m., we see um, about 46% of the leads come in, 53% between uh, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So a good split, but that might be surprising to some. Because uh, what are you doing with those leads after 5 p.m.? Do you have something in place to actually respond to them or not? And then I would go so far as to say, we've all heard the, the phrase speed to lead, I'm sure. Uh, you have to be very quick to your leads. Yeah. But what's also super important is many, um, many leads have kind of sniffed out like autoresponders, like that first message when, you, when they fill out a form is they usually don't reply. But then when you do get them to reply, speed to response is super important. So you can't leave them hanging because if you leave them hanging or ghost them for some period of time, even if it's 24 hours, they're going to go to someone who's more responsive. That's the number one trait that leads and consumers look for in their agent is responsiveness. So the benefit of having the bot is it carries on the conversation after the lead replies. And I was even playing around with the AI bot yesterday. Um, so I was just, you, you know, in preparation of our webinar today, and I had submitted a lead through um, one of the buyer pa uh, test pages that we have. And um, so I had that buyer target on there, and we'll kind of go into how you can set that up within Wise Agent. And I received a text response back. And then, you know, I was at work, so I kind of like forgot I wasn't looking at my phone. And then when I got back home later that night, I remember to start texting back and the AI bot was instantly go carrying on that conversation. So although initially the lead even came in during, you know, normal business hours, that conversation did not continue on until later that evening. And that AI bot does that for you. So that's the nice thing about that as well. Yeah. Yeah, and just another example of one of our customers, they saw pretty similar again, a little less that came in overnight, but again, right around always about 50 to 57% engagement rate is what we see or response rate. And re agent ready rate kind of varies always between about 17% and upwards of, we've seen upwards of like over 50%. It really depends on the lead sources, but usually agent ready percentage is between about 17% and 35%. Or so percent. Okay. So I also wanted to show a few conversations. Um, this is kind of a lot to read, but I really wanted to hone in on, um, you know, what a conversation might look like. So this was a lead that came in from Zillow inquiring about a specific property. So that changed the script to be very pointed about that specific property. Uh, we almost went immediately into scheduling a showing or tentatively scheduling a showing. We don't ever put anything like on your calendar. We just ask for their availability and say, I'll pass it on to my associate and let them confirm or let them know. And then we ask a little bit about their financing options. Uh, they, in this case, they're not uh, looking or they, they're not paying with cash and they're not pre-qualified. So we offer to set them up with a lender. Looks like they're buying their first home. So we say buying a home is a big life decision and we're here to help make it an enjoyable experience. So the big difference here 
versus other, you know, chat bots is our conversations are extremely human-like and empathetic. Um, that is obviously huge when you guys are trusting us with your very valuable asset of leads. You want to have a very human-like conversation and you can see this is one example of exactly how we do that. They say that they're not working with an agent. Um, so we wanna follow up with them and then we pass it off kind of tentatively and say, I'm gonna have my associate follow up with you here shortly, which you can actually then do yourself through Wise Agent or just personally give them a call or a text at that point. So we're always trying to tee you up or your ISA inside sales agent up or someone on your team to pass that lead off to. Yeah. And I think that kind of goes off of Leah's question or Lee's question in regards to what time zone are you in and does the human step in when there are specific questions asked? And I, I believe the answer to that is pretty much that the AI bot, which stands for artificial intelligence, is going to be able to pick up on those cues on specific questions that are being asked by leads, correct? Mm -hmm. And be able to pivot when necessary, depending on what the lead is asking. Yep. Yeah, so we do have, on our side, we have a human, what we call a human in the loop system that's constantly okay. reviewing these conversations for quality, basically. Um, although the AI is having the majority of the conversations, you guys can still jump in at any point within Wise Agent. You can take over, you know, yeah. middle of the conversation if you want. But our best practice recommendation is to let it play out usually until this point where you're passed off uh, or introduced by the AI, the AI to jump in. Yeah. And then we also got a, a question from Richard Park about how to answer, I mean, sorry, how to, to handle the question, are you committed to an agent? So that is something that the AI bot um, does ask. And I have an example of that too, of like some of the responses that, you know, you'll get. So either they are, or they aren't working with an agent. Um, but the AI bot is pretty um, good in handling all those responses that you could possibly get from that mm -hmm. question. Yes, so if, if people are have indicated that they are working with an agent or thinking about it, we do take a little bit more of a passive approach and say, I don't wanna make, I wanna make sure we're not stepping on anyone's toes. I'm gonna have my yeah. agent follow up with you here shortly to make sure it's okay to work with you or something right along those lines. So it's kind of down the middle because I know, you know, there's a bunch of differ, different opinions here about how to handle, uh, how to handle that. Um, so we took a pretty uh, passive approach to handle that, letting you guys jump in uh, and deciding if you want to try and go after those that might already be working with an agent. Yeah. And then the last conversation that I'll show, this one's a fun one. Um, this one came from, I believe, a uh, pay-per-click kind of forced, regis forced registration uh, personal agent website. So that's why the first message is slightly different. So are you curious or just thinking about making a move? Uh, we sent 20 additional drips over three, over more than three months. So a lot of people would have given up. We kept going and we even said, you're probably sick of hearing from me at this point, but I want to make sure we're not <laughs> dropping the ball. <laughs> oh, a little tidbit here. If anyone is curious, one of our most successful phrases in our messages is, I want to make sure I'm not dropping the ball. I don't know yeah. what it is about it, but we've even gone so far as adding like uh, GIFs of like marbles, like rolling and saying, I want to make sure we're not dropping the ball. And people love responding to that message because I think it kind of sets off a little bit of guilt in their, their mind. We're like, yeah. oh, you're not dropping the ball because we see that all the time too, but really successful little message there. Uh, nice. And we got them to respond with their area code or uh, zip code that they were looking in. Kept the conversation going, looking for 1700, asked some beds and baths questions. So, uh, and it looks like they also said they want a mortgage. Um, and um, so this is a little different than the other conversation. Since the first conversation I showed, they were like inquiring about a specific property. This one was a forced registration. So we're asking more general questions about what they're looking for. Then we asked if they've, if they've gotten a loan yet. They have not introduced them to an agent. 
or to a lender, and then they said they need something by August. Um, and that they're not working with an agent yet. So that would have passed them off. I think there's just too many messages to show, but that would have passed them off to the agent to take over. So yeah. another really good conversation here. Nice. Nice. I know that's something that's big that we we were getting a lot of questions about is like examples of those conversations. And it's kind of hard to get, you know, just a, an example because it's really interacting with that lead as if it was a real person, yeah. um, the, the AI bot. So it's hard to, you know, replicate that without actually going in there and playing around with the actual feature and creating, you know, a test lead and making that conversation happen with your assistant, your AI mm -hmm. assistant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's all I got kind of from the structurally side now. Um, Perfect. And okay. Yeah. And that's a lot of great information there as far as giving us background on those statistics of like, why it's important for agents to even have, you know, that in place, because what happens a lot of times is that they are going to get leads coming in, you know, maybe after hours, or they have their automated text responders going out, and then there's no follow up after that. And that lead is kind of, you know, ghosted for a little bit. So it's good to have a system like this in place with, you know, uh, structured lease technology implemented with their CRM, where they can have this assistant um, basically engaging with these new leads as soon as they come into the system and trying to convert them into actual clients. Um, so thank you for that presentation, Nate. And um, I just want to remind everyone, if you have any questions, definitely put those in the Q&A. We do have um, someone from our team that will pass those questions on to us so we can answer them live during the webinar. Um, and of course, we'll, we'll leave some time at the end where we'll fully cover all those questions that you guys submitted um, when you registered and then any of the questions that come in as well. So I kind of want to switch gears and uh, show you guys how we can use uh, Structurally's technology within wise agent. So something that we got as a question a lot was how do I set this up? How can I use the structurally AI bot within wise agent? So the first thing that you want to do when you get into your wise agent account is that you'll need to get your wise texting number. And I think this is something that Nate had mentioned too, is making sure you don't go to Structurally's website and sign up through there because you'll be able to use your wise agent text number with the AI bot. So that's going to be the first thing that you do is set up your wise texting number through your account in wise agent. And then once you get your wise text number set up, then you're able to enable the AI bot. So the AI, again, AI stands for artificial intelligence. You're able to um, uh, enable that feature and then choose what package you want to go with. So there's different packages. Basically, um, you're paying for the conversations. I think it's as little as $1.50 per conversation. Um, and that conversation, Nate, is it lasts, how long you said until, it's basically until that person is ready to convert as a uh, contact uh, client, right? Yep. So we follow up with them over 12 months. And okay. um, even if they respond, we're pretty aggressive about chasing them down until you guys basically take over. Uh, you know, as soon as they even say something like, yeah, you know, you saw in that conversation, let's go see the house tomorrow at two. We don't just say, yeah. great, I'll tell my agent. We keep it going until we kind of have a warm handoff. So nice so again the, once you activate the wise texting you're going to go in here choose your ai bot package that you want um, and if you're someone that's kind of skeptical about like just jumping right into it definitely starting off with you know the the 15 package that gives you 10 conversations just to kind of um, get used to how that works and you can view those interactions with your leads that are coming in and a great way to even start it and i'll go into this is adding your past clients to the AI bot. So not only can you add new leads coming in from your online portals, but you can also add, you know, your current database to the AI bot as well. And you can name the AI bot. So over here, you can give your assistant a name. Something else that I've seen a, a question that we get a lot is, is the AI bot pretending to be an agent? No, it's not pretending to be an agent. Um, it's your assistant and it also um, will introduce themselves as such. 
So that's a nice thing you get to name your assistant as well. And I, I've watched some of your other webinars, Nate, but you've also said sometimes you've heard agents tell stories about how, you know, um, a lead will call in and say, oh, can I talk to Mia? Because that's who was texting them pretty much. And it, it adds that connection, that human connection between the AI bot who's texting your lead, which makes it nice as well. Um, so once you have it activated within the wise texting section and you have your AI bot named and you've activated your package, the next step that we usually tell agents to do is setting up your lead rules because you want to make sure one of the main purposes is to follow up with these new leads that are coming into the system um, and making sure that you don't drop the ball on them. So under the contacts drop down menu here is our lead rules page. So once you get to this page here, you'll be able to set up your lead management rules. So there are different uh, instructions that we have here based on the companies that we integrate with on how you can pull your leads into the system. And then once you get those lead sources connected and generated, then that's where you would go into this screen that I'm currently on here to add your uh, lead rule for that AI bot connection. So this is where you would go to activate your AI bot for any online portals that you have. So your website, Facebook ads. Um, and then of course, if you're using your landing page feature, you can use that as well. So over here is where you would select that lead source. So um, for the sake of this uh, training, we're gonna say that the lead is coming from my fire, my, Facebook buyers page. And from here, I can choose to add this lead, any leads that come in from this source to a drip campaign. Um, so I know that we don't recommend having any other text campaigns going on with the AI bot, correct? We want to make sure that you can, you can supplement with emails, but don't include texting because that can throw off the, the flow of the conversation with the AI bot. So just keeping that in mind when setting up your drip campaigns. And then of course you can add any additional tags. So you can add, you know, if they're a buyer, you can add that as a tag. You can set up an automated email response if you wish. And then of course, if you're going to set up the AI bot, we're gonna skip that wise text response. Cause again, we want the AI bot to be able to handle um, those new leads that are coming into the system. So this is where you would go ahead and select yes for turning on the AI bot. And again, we're turning it on for this specific lead source that we have. And then we can set our target audience. So this is where you would say whether the, um, the AI bot is to um, have a conversation with someone who's a buyer, a seller, somebody who's um, looking to rent or who's looking for a loan. So this is where you would set your target audience here. And then of course, once you've selected these rules, you can go ahead and save um, your rules that you have set up and then from there, the AI kind of takes over, well, not takes over, but <laughs> kind of takes on that conversation and starts engaging with those new leads for you within the system. So then um, once you have that turned on, any leads that are coming into Wise Agent, you'll be able to view, um, if they, they have it activated over here on their summary page, they'll have this little AI bot icon over here and it'll be highlighted in green where you're able to view um, that it's turned on and you're also able to pause the AI bot at any time if you want to jump in and take over that conversation. So I know that was one of the questions that we had. Is it possible to have like, you know, someone jump in and take over that conversation? And most definitely you can. It's just important. I would say, Nate, I don't know if you would agree before doing that is to pause the AI bot so it doesn't there's not a confusion as far as where we're at in the conversation. Yeah, for sure. If our best practice is if you're going to pause the conversation, plan to kind of pause it forever. You can always turn it back on, but it's going to be kind of weird because the AI is going to be playing catch up on a conversation you might have had behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, and it just kind of makes for slightly weird. Uh, it tries its best, but I would definitely say if you're ready to take it over, kind of plan to take it over. Yes. And then that kind of also goes with the question about what happens, you know, when the AI bot um, converts a lead, basically. So what happens when the AI bot has been talking to one of your leads and then that lead says, I'm ready to meet with an agent. Um, this is basically what happens. You get a text 
from the AI bot or from your wise text number, letting you know that your AI bot has converted your lead. And you can go ahead and click on the link that it provides to take you to that text conversation to see what um, basically where you're at. So as soon as you get that text alert to your phone, you can click on that link. And then that will bring you to the actual conversation where you can go back. And I'm not sure if it's my screen is there, it's taken a little bit of time, um, but it will take you back to that conversation, basically, where you can go back and read that thread between the AI bot and that lead. So just to kind of take you back a little bit to uh, the beginning of this conversation here, you know, the AI bot, you know, says, nice to meet you, Lois, I'm Mia, and then, it, you know, goes, starts the conversation from there, and they start to have an exchange in regards to what Mia is looking for as a buyer. Um, and I think the nice thing too, I was like going through, going back is that the AI bot is using emojis too, and adding some emotion to the text messages being sent. And I see also something I know I do, and I think I might've done it as well when I was texting the AI AI bot is you're going to make some text mistakes. And I think that's nice to see that human error happening is that it's going to add a little bit of, you know, it put fro instead of for and it, it affixed that. So I think that's really cool that that's been an added piece to that conversation to make it a little bit more um, human or realistic, I would say. So then, you know, that conversation keeps going. And then finally, I see that what happens is, you know, the AI bot asks the, uh, the lead, are you ready to make a phone appointment? Because I did in this conversation, I said I was relocating. So of course, the AI bot knows I won't be able to meet in person. So let's make a phone appointment. And from there, I said, you know, what time I was available. And that's when the agent gets the text messages, I believe after the time is given of when the lead is available. Um, so that's how that works. That's how you'll get notified. And then of course, you'll have access to your text conversations, not only through the desktop in Wise Agent, but then also on your Wise Agent mobile app. So this is the Wise Agent mobile app where you'll be able to come here and have your text conversations um, and you'll be able to you know, turn off the AI bot on a specific client if need be. Um, and then of course you can start any conversations from that texting, that texting tab as well. Now, going back to the desktop version, um, I know something that we kind of mentioned in the beginning is being able to turn it on on existing clients because you want to be able to reach out to your past clients as well. So going into your contact list in Wise Agent, you'll be able to pull up, you know, a specific category of clients. If you want to pull up your past clients who are sellers, um, and you can even go through that list even more. And you'll be able to select these contacts from your contact list page here and um, add them to the AI bot. You can click on their name. So you can click on a specific client's name that will redirect you to their contact summary page as well, where you'll be able to choose to turn on the AI bot and you'll be able to select a target audience for that lead, that lead that's in your database. Um, and some of, I, and you know, that's a great way again of touching base with those past clients. Cause sometimes I think those also fall through and maybe those are people that maybe weren't responding to us. So we kind of gave up. So this would be the perfect opportunity to get them back um, in kind of our, our foresight and just, you know, be texting them um, through this AI assistant through our integration with Structurally. So definitely taking advantage of that as well for your existing clients. Um, I did want to take some time for us. I know there's some questions coming in here and answer some of these questions that you guys um, have submitted, some of the questions that, um, you know, have come in while we're on this webinar as well. Um, so let's see. So, something I know that kind of stuck out to me, and I don't know if, um, Nate, you kind of have some feedback on this, um, but some of the questions that we had was as far as is the AI bot able to converse in other languages? So I think in Spanish, it picks up if somebody responds in Spanish, but we did get a question about whether or not the AI bot would be able to respond back in French and if this is something that members can use if they're in Canada. 
Yeah, so it works with Spanish uh, out of the box. Uh, so long as a lead indicates they would like to speak in Spanish. So they could say something like, do you speak Spanish in English? Or they could say something just in Spanish and we would detect either and switch our conversations over to Spanish automatically. It does not yet support French, but if someone says like, do you speak French or starts to speak in French, we would say, sorry, English is my first language. I don't speak French. So we'd indicate that we know that they asked if we speak French, but say that we can't yet. Yeah. Um, so that's great because I know that we do have a lot of members who um, are Spanish speaking and a lot of mem members that are in Canada as well. So it can be used in Canada, I, Canada, I believe, because that also you can use our WISE texting feature in Canada. So as long as you're able to purchase that WISE text number through WISE agent, um, then that uh, the AI bot feature will be something that you're able to utilize as well. Um, we did get some questions about pricing, which I think I kind of covered that as well. We do have that starter package to kind of um, help you test it out, test out the water, see how the AI bot will um, conversate with your leads. And from there, you're able to choose higher packages once you become like a power user and you see that, okay, wow, I'm getting a lot of conversions through this feature as well. Um, and then let me see some other questions that we have here. Um, something I know that I, I've seen when talking to members, Nate, and something that I also saw in the webinar questions that were submitted is, are these scripts in the future? Is this something that can be modified? I know that we don't have it available now where you can modify the text scripts, um, but just kind of like, how are those constructed? I know those are some people are leery about how are these scripts constructed and um, just like even if they're customizable in the near future. Yeah, right now um, they're not customizable through Wise Agent just due to the robustness of uh, script building. Um, yeah. It is customizable through our product directly, but again, I would recommend not using our product directly. Um, yeah. just because you lose the integration there, which is extremely important. Um, we are, you know, talking to the wise agent team, I think ongoing about making like wise agent specific scripts and expanding the, what I'll call like use cases. Um, yeah. So like French, you know, writing our scripts in French would be an example of potentially a wise agent specific script. And, um, you know, we're talking with your team about, uh, making different scripts for like more of like a passive buyer or an aggressive buyer or a passive seller or aggressive buy seller. Because I know everyone has their different kind of flavor of how they want to go after leads. And it's not one size fits all, but the scripts that we're using with you all uh, have been tried and true on over 5 million leads. And we're constantly tweaking them. And they've been worked with, uh, worked worked on by coaches, our team, uh, our, I mean, our teams, our customers uh, over five years now. So we're constantly improving them. We're constantly monitoring. We're looking at things like saying, I want to make sure I'm not dropping the ball uh, in, in checking in engagement rate, response rate, and response, just responses in general. And we're really excited that over the last five years, we analyzed all of our leads and found that 0.1% of the time, people believe they're talking to a bot. So 99.9% .9 of the time, they feel like they're talking to a human. And that's because of the care we wow. take in these conversations to make them feel so lifelike. Definitely, yeah. And I think I, I even heard like one time you were saying like, when they uh, talk about these milestones, like if a lead text about a milestone, the AI bot will engage with that and not kind of overlook that either. So things like that, congratulating mm -hmm. the lead and just adding that personal connection when um, responding back to your leads. Um, I see that we did also get another question and I might have not really like shown this in the best light, but uh, how to add your past clients um, to the AI bot. So again, that's gonna be from your contact list here in Wise Agent. 
So once you're on the contact list page, you can pull up specific categories that you want um, to add to the AI bot. You can, you know, select, you know, a couple names at a time or select all. And then from the actions drop down here where you can perform bulk actions, you'll be able to click on that drop down and you can even type in AI and it gives you the option here to add to AI bot. And then once you do that, it's going to let you know who has a valid phone number for you to add to the AI bot uh, feature. And then you'll be able to select OK. And then from this screen here is where you would select your target audience for um, the AI bot. So again, because you have them, your leads categorized, you're able to put them to that audience that you want to target as well. So that's how you'd be able to add any past clients. We do have some searches here on the left hand side for you to use to just kind of see some of the activity um, going on. So you'll be able to see any clients that, and let me see my pages. So you'll be able to use the search group option here. Um, and again, you can type in keywords like AI bot. So you can see people who have been, who are currently active on your AI bot, anyone who's inactive, and then anyone who's never been added to the AI bot as well. So you can pull up those searches in Wise Agent as well, just to kind of click on, you know, everyone who's active. So if you wanted to keep an eye on those people and check their text log, because you are also able to check their text log in Wise Agent, you're able to do that. And using that search group option shows me anyone who I currently have active with that AI bot. So that's how, you know, you'll be able to kind of keep it, keep up on those people that you're adding to that. Um, yeah, and I'm seeing some questions about like, what does the conversation look like for past clients? It is different. We do support okay. different conversations. I assume that's uh, supported through Wise Agent. Um, and I can, I can possibly follow up with some documentation on how that looks different. But um, rather than what you saw in the example conversations I showed where it's like, thanks for registering on Zillow about 123 Main Street or um, saw you on our website. Are you curious or just looking to make a move? It starts the message depending on if it's buyer or seller, but just starting with buyer, I think something like, uh, hey there, I know it's been a while since, um, or it's been a little while since you last heard from us. I wanted to check in on your move. Are you just curious or thinking about making a move? So similar yeah. question, but it changes the initial verbiage to say like it's been a little while to keep it generic because it could have been a three month old lead or a year year old lead, um, and it's a little more generic like that, but definitely specific for the yeah. old leads. Okay, um, I do see there was a question here in regards to. Um, what how often does the ai bot engage within that 12 month period 25 times over 12 months and it, times it's over spaced months. spaced out over time but a little more aggressive up front yes and i noticed that too like in the beginning when that lead is fresh the ai bot is a lot more active and then mm -hmm. as the time goes on it's like spaced out a little bit more as far as when that the AI bot is going to reach out to that lead again, but it is very uh, persistent. I've seen it, <laughs> which is nice because I think something too is sometimes agents, you know, and just people in general, sometimes we can fear rejection. So we might not be as hard upfront as far as reaching out to these leads, but that's how we really are able to see, um, you know, is someone ready to buy right now or are they ready to sell? And if they are, then now's a great time to kind of get a hold of that lead and then start that process with them. So I think this feature is very helpful to agents. I think um, we have a lot of members that have already started using it and I've kind of, you know, talked to them and kind of um, they've shared their experiences with the AI, AI bot. And I think what I'll do also is have our marketing team post about it in our wise agent community page to kind of have, you know, a conversation starter of house some of our members have been successful with the AI bot and those conversations that have started flowing. So definitely. Yeah, and I think I've seen the stat is um, most, most salespeople give up after three attempts and most contact happens between the sixth and eighth attempt. So we typically give up a little early. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I see that Deb, you asked in regards to email generation. So for the AI bot. So right now within Wise Agent, our integration is strictly via text. 
Um, and I think that's what Structurally focuses on as well as the AI, um, mm -hmm. the artificial intelligence as far as texting goes, because that's one of um, the best ways to communicate with people now is through text message. Um, so that's how that feature is available is through the tech through texting. These are all great questions, guys. Um, I did want to go ahead and also just show really quickly before we kind of start to wrap things up is just through, um, I saw a question here about how to view your conversations within the CRM. So over here, I will go ahead and share my screen re really quickly with you. Um, again, you'll be able to pull up anyone who's actively using the AI bot using that search group. And then from here, if I click on Lois Lane's name, it's going to take me to her contact summary page within Wise Agents. And then from your contact summary page of that specific contact, over here on the left hand side where my menu bar is, I can select the text option here to view my texting log. And then this is going to show those text conversations within the CRM. So it does show me right here that the AI bot conversation was started. It shows me um, what um, script it's using or what uh, tart, what, um, yeah, the script that, that it's using or what kind of audience it's targeting and it's a buyer. And then it shows that conversation from here. It's gonna show me those replies with that arrow going back. So that's the lead replying back. Um, but I'll be able to track this conversation here within my um, within the summary page. And from here, if you wanted to jump in, if you see that there is, you know, a question that, you, you know, it's, it sparks you wanting to reply back to the lead, you can send out a text right here um, from the text log page, as well as right here where the little phone icon, mobile phone icon is, you can start that text conversation. Again, I just recommend pausing that AI bot um, from being active when you choose to jump in via text. So, but you are definitely able to do that from the summary page within your account. These are all great questions. Um, now, I know a lot, some of you are existing Wise Agent members, some of you are not yet with Wise Agent, and I've seen questions about how to start with um, Wise Agent and Structurally. So what I'll do is I'll post in the, uh, the chat box here um, how you can register for a free 14-day trial with Wise Agents. Um, and then how we'll also have a link to our Wise Agent community page where you can connect with us um, through, you know, Facebook and see what other agents are doing and how uh, they're using Wise Agent and just best practices that way. And then, of course, Nate, I don't know if you had any, um, you know, closing remarks or anything that you wanted to add to um, to this to this webinar today, or is any anything that you just wanted to let everyone know before we head out. No, no, I think this was uh, good. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here and looking forward to continuing to improve uh, the integration. I know we'll work, uh, uh, we're constantly working over the, uh, the scripts. We're constantly tweaking our conversations and uh, really behind the scenes doing a lot of work for, for everyone here. Um, so you can focus on uh, closing. That's what we're, that's what we're here for. And I know that's what Wise Agent wants to see as well. Definitely. And then um, I know you guys all have questions about like when you get started with Wise Agent, and I just want to cover that really quickly. As soon as you get started with a Wise Agent account, so again, once you go to wiseagent.com, um, you'll want to come over here to this sign up screen. Over here, where it says sign up free. Um, once you sign up free and you register for a free 14 day trial with Wise Agent, we'll have one of our um, onboarding team specialists reach out to you um, and to give you an one on one onboarding session to get started with your account, setting it, up, setting it up. And then, of course, we would cover how to set up the AI bot as well. So we would go over purchasing your wise texting number, once you purchase your texting number, how to um, add the AI texting packages, and then of course, how to utilize that within your accounts. 
Um, we do have 24 seven customer support through the help drop down here and the contact us button. We also offer weekly online classes. So definitely um, keep an eye out for our online class schedule, joining in on those classes. We're, we're gonna try and do more of these um, uh, classes with our integrated partners and with Nate and with Structurally, just to give you guys more tips. And it's, we're always gonna try to do it with a, a new member of our Wise Agent team so you can get familiar with all the different faces that we have here at Wise Agent. Um, but we definitely think, thank you guys all for joining in. If we didn't answer your questions, we will go ahead and follow up with you guys via email um, with your questions that you asked and a response. And then of course, helping you get started with your trial account and how to use that within Wise Agent. Again, thank you, Nate, for joining in and thank you, everyone. Um, we will have this replay available later today and we'll email that all to you guys as well. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.